the Igbo Union, also known as a Unzuko Ndigbo, as described as unnecessary the criticisms by former Vice President Atiku Abubakar of President Mohammed of President Bola Metinubu over the award of contracts to the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway projects. The former Vice President and the Presidential Candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, had condemned the contracts awarded to Chagri due to the membership of Sheyi Tinubu son of the company's board. But in a statement on Thursday, the President of the Igbo Union Prince Elias Uduemena described the attacks in the first family as unnecessary. Says who? Why? He said Atiku Abubakar's constructive criticisms should be channeled to the inhuman treatment the Lagos state government has meted to the Igbo ethnic stock living in Lagos since the commencement of Mr. Babajide Sonwulu's second tenor as the governor of the state. Second, okay. Prince Odwemena recalled a similar development when Atiku puts his son on the management on inter organization and many kicked against it then why the majority of nigerians defended the articles what nigerians are expecting from Atiku Abubakar now is to condemn in totality the inhuman treatment lagos state governor babajide sonwulu is giving to egos in lagos since his second tenure as executive governor of lagos state we expect a person in articles abubakar's caliber to call on president bola metinubu to caution sonwulu to stop maltreatment to Igbo in Lagos who have contributed much in the development of Lagos in particular and Nigeria in general. Prince Odemena also said that Nigeria also expects the Waziri Adamawa to tell Tinubu to stop the Central Bank of Nigeria CBN from collecting newly introduced cybercrime tax from already impoverished Nigerians. Odemena further said that instead of Article dissipating energy on Sheyi Tinubu's involvement in Chadri, he could also advise Tinubu to stop the Corporate Affairs Commission CAC from further registering companies who fail to pay their fees because of the economy of Nigeria. Well, um, it's not everything Peter B is always talking about. And it's not everything Atiku Ababaka will talk about. And other people, there are some things that Atiku and the uh, and what is it called obi they have not said that other people are saying if other people have said it's fine there's no need for everybody to be repeating the same thing over and over again like the issue of a tinubu son um getting contracts or the magumago they want to do there of course some people will see defend them that's what they will say you continue to defend them you and your household you are getting impoverished every day why you are supporting them and they are getting richer and richer it is your that's your own cup of tea the issue here is that in my opinion is that it's not everything everybody's going to say now the before the the final conclusion of the the election results and what have you when they going to judge that in court article was talking about something different obi was talking about something different we know that uh Kwa Kwa is not even it's out of the equation because uh, that one <laughs> he knows what he's looking for so he's not even interested in national issues he has not said anything you know, concerning national issues i'm just even remembering now but we have a lot of wonderful people who have been saying this are uh, like a uh, syrup and uh, this uh, civil society and ngos they've been talking they've been saying a manner of things like uh, this issue of a uh, cyber security levy Seraph, when it comes to that in a you can't even you can't nobody can match them they are always taking now people are even making mockery of them they are always taking the federal government any government of the taking them to court as far as a is going to benefit the nigerian people so in that kind of thing obi will not even put much there are some things he will just say it's not everything he's going to be talking about so invariably for the fact that he's not talking about it or how Igbos are feeling in lagos which of course they have a valid point in as much we want to go to or they want to go to that route. They have a valid point. But it's, it doesn't matter. Now you are saying it. Other people have said it. What you are talking about, people have made mention of it. So don't expect an article to talk about it because it affects you. Like I said, your point is valid and your concern, you are calling him, is valid. But you don't expect an 
article to say all of that. You know that uh, in that uh, issue of uh, Tinubu Sons coming into this uh, Lagos Calabar Coastal project, Atiku did his own, own uh, his own work very well, and they cannot deny it. The next thing, the presidency say, eh, she whatever he has joined the group in twenty eighteen and all of that, and with the speed at which they want to do this whole thing, you should know that something is fishy, and that is why you see that uh, no investor is coming to Nigeria because they know the stuff your president is made of. No be everything. No be all close, close. Neither the song for our side. So, uh -huh. those who know know. So, in my opinion, you don't need to drag a Asiku. What is hurting you, you have made it, and the people concerned have heard you. So, they should go and make amend. Hmm. Where Asiku is right, there is a conflict of interest in awarding a contract to a company in which the president's son is a stakeholder. Psychophancy is a serious problem in Nigeria. People would see black and call it white. Exactly my point. Okay. Audrey Mena, you are wrong. Atiku was a former VP of Nigeria for eight years. He is outstanding political figure in Africa as opposition leader. He is doing exactly what opposition parties leaders must be doing to checkmate ruling party and it from taking criticism from opposition's leaderships and perfecting things because of their criticism makes democracy beautiful. As an Igbo man, mind your own uh, business when it comes to Atiku and Tinubu because they are best of the same feathers. They are best friends. They know themselves. Okay. May God forgive you all. Imposters, you are not Igbo. Please disclose your identity. Out of anger, I've thus speaking. Hunger is a bastard. There is nothing it can't even cause the kind group that exists now in Nigeria eh, or more eh, has moved into the world that nothing good can still come out of Nigeria. Even in the US, the president gets criticism. Um talking about the nation where things work well. You can see our level here and we are we, we never even started it is well. <laughs> mm, oh, wow. Okay, 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 okay. APC sponsored union wipe nepotism out of Nigeria. I don't understand this Igbo union. Who are they, or is this APC sponsored? In fact, they are just trying to be correct by half. Which of the Igbo union? Why they don't talk for there? We you don't hear so. Not we only forgive President Inubu if he abandons Lagos, Calabar Highway and start Sokoto Badagri, and we'll be happy. Listen, Igos or what you call your tribe, not we never leave Shigitinubu and Lagos, Calabar Highway, instead of a construct and support highway in the north, southeast and south south, didn't support Sinubu election in 2007, is around the corner. Oh, I remember Shigi wife, she's Igbo from Anambra, says, no wonder, you think so? Mm -hmm. What has that got to do with anybody? Who that one can't help? So guys, I say your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.